Hello and welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil and today in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial right here, I'm going to show you how to put a timer or a stop clock or whatever you want to call it on your videos here in DaVinci Resolve. If you like these super quick tutorials, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe up so you never miss any in the future. Now, first of all, you can see I'm already up here under Toolbox and Effects. Click on Titles and come down and you just take a regular text plus. So put a text plus down here. And you see it's just like any other time you add text over a video. So it just says custom title, but anywhere in this box right here to add the, make it a stopwatch, right click on it and come down to time code. It says right here, it says time code, boom. It instantly changes to this time code and you can see it is incredibly uh, long. It's got the hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. Um, if you want to eliminate any of this, but probably the hours, I don't know how long you're keeping track of the time or whatever, but go ahead and come over to the inspector, scroll down, and where it says right on, you can just click this little dot right here and drag it over and you see the stuff going away. Uh, you can get rid of the hours, you can get rid of the minutes, get rid of the colon. And I'm just going to go with just the seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and just move this over. Just like any text, you can adjust this stuff. If you wanted to, uh, under the titles here, you can make the font bigger. I'm going to go ahead and move it over a little bit again. You can change the text to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to change it to... Uh, let's go with the, the video game that I play a lot, Diablo. So we got Diablo text right here. It's not really going to match the background video, but no big deal. It's a coffee shop. And just like any title, I, I like going over here. You can make it a solid color. I like you can make it a gradient. Uh, we can go with a... It's a coffee shop, so let's go with like a brown, huh? How about we gradient from light brown to like a dark brown? Because we're, we're doing coffee here. You know what I'm saying? We're doing coffee, so we're going to want to have it. We'll do it like that. There we got a coffee gradient. We're going to go ahead and move it down to the bottom of the video here. And we'll go ahead and you can see it counting away. There's our little coffee counter. Now, let's say a lot of times before the numbers start counting, you want it to be zero for a little while. And it's like, here it goes and it starts. Uh, so if you want to do that, just go ahead and, and click on the text plus here. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and just drag over or any way that you want to copy and paste. This is a very easy way to copy and paste here in DaVinci Resolve. And then put it on the very start of the text and then click on that first text. Click up in the title and right click in that open area and come down to remove time code. Now you can see there's no time code. It pops up zero and we're going to start timing it right about now. Go. And it's counting, it's counting, it's counting, it's counting and boom. It took just a little over four seconds to do whatever we were timing. Uh, so if you want to hold that time for a second so you can kind of talk about the time and mention it and they can have a time to see exactly how long it took, just Control and B. That's just the blade tool while you have that text selected. Boom. And now there's a cut in it. Now you take the second part of that same text piece, come up here and do the same thing you did with that first text plus that you moved over next to it. Click in that open area and come down to remove time code. And you can drag this out as far as you want, and it will no longer be counting up, but it will still hold that time. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it and go. It's counting. How long is this going to take until whatever's happening in the video I'm timing? And bam, just a little over four seconds. So that's how you add a time clock and do a couple other cool little nifty little things with it here in DaVinci Resolve. If this video helped you out, hit the like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the future videos. Peace out.